Sue Mudi, head teacher, Richmond Hill Primary School, Leeds. I've been here for um, 18 years actually at Richmond Hill, so I know quite a lot about the area. And a few years ago, the school was going to be closed and we've had quite a fight of uh, keeping the school open. And one of the great things is that three years ago, we were told we could have a new building. Because as you can see, this flat roof building is in quite a state. And we've been part of a primary capital programme with Leeds uh, Authority. So we've been very lucky into having a new school being built. We are currently a two-form entry school and the children are on two sites, but from September 2012 will be three forms of entry in this great state-of-the-art building. To have a school in the heart of the community, it's going to be a real hub and part of the building we are getting some community facilities that will be used by school and local community so lots of work has been done with members of the community as far as sporting um, clubs go and other stakeholders will be able to enjoy these brand new facilities so to be quite honest it's been a fantastic experience working with InterServe and having the building growing by our school, it's been a good experience for the children. So lots of times when roofs are going on or there's bulldozers and cranes, we're all at the fence watching. We can actually see it, it's fantastic. And the relationship's been great. Um, the builders and um, Jim, our project director, has been in to speak to the children. And they've had question and answer sessions with the builders about their new school. They were all involved in the planning stage. We want a school that's fit for education in the 21st century. We're going to be, come September 2012, a fully inclusive school where children who normally might have been in a special school will be actually part of our mainstream school and coming in for le some lessons within mainstream school for children. And it's not an easy area to be in, so I think just a nice environment to be part of. Lots of state-of-the-art equipment. A lot of children here who are asylum seekers and refugees. And some of the facilities we want to do is to help parents maybe in training themselves, you know, to be able to come into school, access computers. Because the area is quite... Um, it's not very rich in our local libraries closed so people can't get on a computer sometimes so hopefully our school will help.